Michigan Democratic Senator Gary Peters chairs the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee. Talk about a man on the spot. Senator Peters, it's great to see you. Thank you very much. So let's start with the Senate battleground map. Is it realistic that you can run the table, win all the close races, New Hampshire, Nevada, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Georgia, to hold on to the majority? Uh, yes, uh, Andrea, and thank you for having me on uh, with you here today. No, we are uh, very optimistic we're going to be able to hold our majority. I still believe that we can uh, pick up uh, seats uh, as well. Basically, this is playing out uh, as we anticipated. Uh, if you would have asked me a year and a half ago, uh, where do you think we will be uh, near Election Day? I will tell you these will be all very close races. They're all going to be at the margin. Uh, they're going to be battles right up to the very end. And as a result of that, at the DSCC, what we have been doing over the, the last uh, year and a half has been investing substantially in our ground operation to get out the vote. In fact, it's the most significant investments that the DSCC has ever made in field operations. And I think we're seeing that here already uh, when it comes to early voting. We're seeing a record uh, early voting uh, or meeting the records that they have in the past in all of our key states. People are showing up at the polls. Uh, and uh, we're confident that those are Democrats. But clearly, this is a time where Democrats have to know so much is at stake that it's important to get out to vote. That's exactly where we thought we would be. Uh, and we're confident, and I'm confident, that we're going to still be in the majority uh, uh, come uh, after the election. How tough a road is it in Georgia with what we heard already uh, on that hot mica incident at the airport on the tarmac when Senator Schumer was saying that Georgia was likely going down? No, I'm confident uh, we'll win in Georgia. Uh, certainly, this is about candidate choice, and I think you, you're seeing that across all of our races. There is such a clear contrast between our uh, Democratic incumbents and Democratic uh, challengers uh, and Republicans. Georgia is a classic case. You can, I don't think you can find a wider gulf between the, the talent uh, as well as the, the passion of uh, Raphael Warnock to fight for folks all across Georgia versus uh, a candidate, uh, his opponent, who's not ready for prime time, not ready for any time. And we believe that the voters of Georgia get that. Uh, and we will win uh, in, in Georgia. And I'm very confident uh, uh, we're going to win, despite the fact it'll be a close race. We know it'll be a close race. But all of these races are in battleground states. By definition, battleground states are close races. This should not be a surprise to anybody. And now it's about getting out our voters. And again, our field operations, uh, building on the incredible talents of our candidates, we believe in the end will be successful for us. Now, you've got these Republican got super PACs pouring $6 million into Pennsylvania, money just being poured into New Hampshire against Maggie Hassan on behalf of Tom Bolduc. Uh, they're, they're really swamping you guys in money from these other super PACs. Well, uh, there's no question. Uh, dark money, super PAC money uh, has always been uh, about the Republican playbook. Uh, we knew we would be outspent uh, when massive amount of money comes into the races. But ultimately, what we have as Democrats is people power. Uh, we have folks uh, on the ground. We have people turning out voters. And I believe the messages that our candidates have been able to get out are very clear. The, this election is a, is a choice. This is a clear contrast between quality, strong Democratic candidates and, quite frankly, incredibly damaged uh, and uh, inferior candidates on the Republican side. Uh, and ultimately, uh, we will be successful as a result uh, of that. And, uh, I'm confident in the end, uh, as long as Democratic voters are showing up like I believe they are and will continue to show up, uh, we will be successful. But we've got to run through this tape. It's not over till it's over. Uh, we are all hands on deck and we'll do everything we can to, to run through the tape uh, here in the remaining few days. Senator Gary Peters, thank you so much for your time today. Appreciate it.